Hello, my name is Veronica and welcome into the Learning Lab. And in today's lab, I'd like to share with you some items that I found at Tuesday morning. Come on in and we'll get started. Uh, before I begin, I would like to say that this is the final day of the year 2019 and we are boldly marching our way into 2020. So whatever your plans are for this evening, I pray God's blessings over your life and that he keeps you safe from any hurt, harm, or danger that might unintentionally or intentionally come your way. Okay, without any more further ado, let's look at what I found at Tuesday morning. Let's start right here with some items from Tonic. And these are some of the Nouveau brush script pens. I do like them. I've not used these before. They are water-based pens, and I got them because of the colors, especially the red and the green. And of course, I like my turquoise, and I love the, the fine tip of them. There is another set in Tuesday morning that's a different color, but I'm going to try these out first to see how well they work for me. Um, the next item, I just like the From Me to You on this die. Thought it was cute and something that I could use and for the price I went ahead and picked that up. I'm going to play around with it, cut some out and see what happens. Now these are clouds and they're layered clouds and I have a lot of uh, cloud dies <laughs> already but these just seemed really unique. So I, I like the size of it. It would be perfect on a size A2 card. And I'm sure you've probably seen these, but this is the Teardrop Bobble. And the thing with Tonic is sometimes for me it can be a bit too intricate, but this is more my speed. And of course, Santa's sleigh. I didn't get to use it this year for Christmas, but I do plan on using it next year. And I think I have some dies or some stickers that I bought that are presents that I could lay into that sleigh. And of course the price is unbelievable and I love this detail that's in there I think that's gonna turn out really well now this one is a verso die and like most companies they have different names for the different kinds that they put out and this comes together to make this cute little um, box and yes I was thrilled and enamored with it and so yeah oh and there's a little heart piece that it will cut out. So look for me to create something with this in the year to come. And this I think was my best score. And it's this marquee box. I adore it. I am hoping I can get some of these inlays that go in there to cut out with some other things. But I just love some of the options that you can do with this die set. Those are the items that I found from Tonic. Now, I think I am among probably the 1,000 crafters who did not manage to score the letterpress platform from Tuesday morning. I'm still hoping that it will come in soon. Now, these are just some that I picked up recently, and I think everybody has gotten that and has shown it. This is gorgeous. And the other one that I got is this one. Now, I have some that I picked up at AC Moore probably four years ago sorry about that probably four years ago when they were doing away with it and I also picked up some inks at that time so getting some more of these has been great I don't have the letter press platform even though I do have the we are memory keepers evolution machine I have just been doing mine using that I mean and for what I need it's worked out okay I've done it the same way you would do the ink it but I found these square flat cards and yeah so you know what, let's open one. Let's open this so I can show you um, what this looks like in case you're interested or you've never seen it or done it before. But these cards are just, I mean, it's like a chipboard piece. 
and then your ink and the image is just going to press down into that paper. I got really lucky and that I was able to find two of these. Now one other thing that you need to make it work if you're using the platform is that you need the adhesive sheets and this is what's going to keep your plate from sliding around when you are inking it. So you would put the sheet down and you would actually put the plate on top of that sheet to hold it into place. So I was able to find a couple of the adhesive sheets and then I found these envelopes and I have had some envelopes before. I've actually been cutting them apart and using little pieces of it but I've been just cutting them like that and then I can make little note cards and put those on top of a piece of paper so I can stretch that envelope and make it go a long way. And then the last nice thing I found, these are square fold cards and of course I am not going to use the whole thing. I'm going to again cut that down so that I can get the most bang for my buck. But those were the cool items that I found for the We Are Memory Keepers letterpress. Keeping in line with the We Are Memory Keepers theme, I did find these foil quill pens from Kelly Create. And I got these because I don't necessarily need the uh, hot foil to use this, but these are just some of the things that come in there. And look, there's even an alphabet. These are available in SVG and also in PNG format. So I can print these out on a toner based printer and then I can run these through my mink and I can get that same foiling. But also the beauty is I can upload these and cut the images out on my brother or either on my um, Cricut Maker. These are icons on here. Really cute. And then this one is Holiday. and all the wonderful holidays that this covers. Absolutely outstanding. Before I move on from foiling, I did score this um, reactive mink spray. Now I was on the auto ship for Anna Griffins and something happened with my credit card and I had to cancel it and get a new one and I neglected to update that on HSN so when I was on that auto delivery for the mink I, I didn't get all of them and one of them was the spray mist but I was able to find one in Tuesday morning uh, and I want to play with it and see how it works. So the next set we're going to look at is Crafter's Companion and yes I did get the uh, Spectrum Noir Sparker Glitter Ink there are also some other colors and I want to say I recently got the one with the green and red in it and the gold metallic one but I've got a few bags hanging about and uh, either it's still in the car or maybe I who knows <laughs> but anyway can't wait to play with those I also picked up the embossing powder it comes in black white and clear and I am going to be interested to see how Crafters Companions embossing powder stacks up to some that I've always used in the past. Now, the desire dies. When I saw this one and the elegance in which they put it on this little purse, and I do plan to cut some of these samples and come back later and share those with you. This Christmas tree, I am still trying to decide on. I'm not sure if I'm in like with it, I'm not in love with it. I'm in like with it. So I'm going to decide on that because at this point, I've got to find things that I'm in love with. This I thought was just really cute. And these are um, some stamps by Chloe who designs for Crafters Companion. And I just thought those little mittens were cute. And it's something that I can give to my students and then I can just write their names uh, inside the mitten and uh, make a little treat for them. So I, I did like those. Um, staying with Chloe, this Sentiments um, Best Wishes, I went ahead and got because I thought that was nice and I could use some of those sentiments that are on there. This Sheena one, um, it's the Ivy and I do have some of her um, stamps and I 
I want to say I have the this poinsettia one. Again, this is a in like, not in love. So I'm actually going to sit that to that side because that might be something that I don't keep because I'm not in love with it. But now this I am in love with. It's a statement maker. And then to um, cut out these leaves and layer it on top, and you can always punch um, little red balls to go in there, or you can use some of your dew drops to really make those pop. And so this one is definitely a keeper for me. Another keeper is this wreath maker that you can do. And depending on how you want to do it, you can keep taking these branches around in circles and of course the bows and the bells. I Sheena is just uber talented, but I love this festive wreath and uh, garland set that you can do. Now, um, I went to a few stores and in one of them I found this one. And I just, I love that. And then when I went into another store, looky, looky what I found. The metal die set that actually matches these stamps. And there's the die set that will cut out this one. And I was like, wowzers. And I can also cut out um, the two bows. So that was a very lucky find for me. So another one of Sheena's that I picked up was this one. It's snowflakey, very wintry. I, I liked the saying, our souls are like snowflakes, all different and all beautiful. That is what really brought me in. And for $2.99, 3 bucks, I could probably hang on to it. So, so this will go into a maybe stack. And then I found this double-sided embossing board. I do have the original embossing board that I do use to put designs into things. And when I don't want to make noise at night or have to go downstairs and uh, crank up my machines, I can sit with my scoreboard and put the scoring thing in my lap or on a little um, tray table and watch a movie and just score to my heart's desire. And those are the items that I got from Crafter's Companion. So next up is Bow Bunny. And I have a purple and a red pack of these, but I don't know what I did with them or where I put them. But I love Bow Bunny products. So much so that I've purchased several duplicates and stamps, so I'm going to have to include those uh, in a giveaway at some point. But these are gorgeous. I think they would make wonderful um, earrings, these little brads. Take them and put them on a jewelry piece, even one of these. If I took this and put it on top of that and anchored it with an earring hook, those would be gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Now, I adore this. I have a lot of fall themed things. I think I have something from Tim Holtz that looks very similar to this. I even from um, Stampendous with Fran. But this one I like because they are not individual stamps. They are all on one sheet, cling sheet together. So there it is. So I can stamp my entire background piece using just that clean sheet. Now another thing that I could do with this because it's already stamped is to run this through my laser based toner, get a printout and then I can put it through my mink and I can foil these just like this. But So when you put it through the copier just uh, if yours won't pick it up you're probably going to need some white paper behind it but this foiled and then I can go back and color those in using some of those Nouveau brush markers or some of my Spectrum Noirs. I think this is definitely a winner. Um, this one, I'm in like, <laughs> not in love. Like, so let me put it over in my like stack. That might go back. Now this one I got because I purchased some of these, I may have been from Fiskars, but they had the little stitched ones that you could put around the edge of things to give you that look, but I'm not quite sure the material it was made out of, but it got all gummy and gunky and sticky and yucky, and I remember uh, complaining about that 
four. So when I saw these pop up in Tuesday morning, I was like, I mean, these are okay, but I really wanted it for the stitches and then the little X's that I can put on there. And then the last one is if you don't have enough flowers, I got these. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's keep this moving. So in addition to those stamps, I also found this lovely Christmas paper. And I went ahead and got uh, two sets of them because, um, let me cut this open. I usually will peel this off, but I'm just going to go ahead and um, slit this since I'm right here. And these are my tonic scissors, which I do like. Not for uh, fussy cutting though. And so here are some of the lovely luscious pages that are inside. Love that. Reminds me of the bouquet effect. Sheet music is in there. And because I was quite pleased with what I saw, I went ahead and got two packs of those. So let's talk adhesives. And of course, whenever I am in and they have these, especially in the black and the squares, I pick them up absolutely every single time. And they are American Crafts. And now I have seen this glue in there. And it's a PVA glue, so I decided to go ahead and get it and try it. I'm like, uh, it's permanent, it dries clear, has a closable spout, and it's washable. So I'll try it, you know. It'll give me something else. It'll provide another tool for my arsenal if I like it. Um, these I got, I haven't tried it yet. I've seen it on the video, and I was like, well... Let me, let me get it and try it. So I got the one um, base and then I got the refills that go into it. Now these are permanent and price was still high even for a Tuesday morning. So this is not something that I'll probably continue to invest in but I did want to try it out to see how it works. And of course, you know, I picked these up. Whenever I'm in and they're in the store, they're coming home with me. And this is the really skinny one that I love. I think it's um, an eighth of an inch. And then they had some of the half inch. And so I got uh, a few of those. I didn't take them all, but I got a few. Oh, and this is another American Crafts one, but it's the red um, sticky tape, which I do like this. So there were one or two, and I have quite a few. So I didn't want to get too many more. Uh, because I need to use up this red one. These, I am down to like my last two. I've been putting together so many things. But this one I still have a few more of. And so these are the adhesive items that I scored a Tuesday morning. Staying with Christmas for a moment, I did like this My Mind's Eye Cozy Christmas. But I also like the My Mind's Eye because it's double-sided. So when I am doing cards, I mean, look at this those two together and this paper it feels like linen I think I'm gonna have to go back and get one more of these because my goal is to do more creating next year and less gathering but look at this it's beautiful I mean they've already put these together for me so I know they are going to coordinate well yeah I I need to go back and get another one of these because I am loving this. I loved it in the store. I'm loving it even more now that I have gotten it home. This is gorgeous. Oh, man. Why didn't I get two? I'm hoping there are more when I go back because I want another one or two or three. Oh. And it's Cozy Christmas by Celeste Knight. Beautiful. Now, I know a lot of people have been very excited about this snow and cocoa, and I saw these adhesive reefs and decided to pick some of them up, so I got two of those because I was thinking of some creative things. I'm sorry. No, I didn't. I got three of them because I was trying to think of some creative things that I could do with them, and I was like, yeah. 
So then as I was digging, I came across these stamps. And I thought these images were just so precious. Just really sweet. So I got those. They had a ton of other snow and cocoa items, but these are the ones that really resonated with me and what I thought I could do something with because even if I took one of these and put the image inside of the wreath, I thought that would be really sweet. So those are the snow and cocoa items that I really liked. So Hero Arts, yeah, <laughs> I got this because I thought I just liked it for no other reason I I just liked it I'm still debating on it um, about whether or not I'm going to keep it I like it I don't know if I absolutely love it so let's put that to the side now this I only got it because I wanted to try it and it's one of these um, wreath builder things so you continue stamping um, shows you the order and how to do it stamp this first then this then this and this and then you'll end up with this and I just thought it was kind of cute you know to be able to put all those different um, colors in there now if I were to do this I would use uh, the a DIY stamping platforms that I did and I would put each one of these in its own little um, disc case so once I loaded that with color it stayed in there and I just stamp 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 and just move down the road doing them if you've not seen that video of how to put that together I will put a little link up at the top so you can refer to that they are super quick and easy to make and for cases like this they work out really well and I think I'll probably work up a video for that showing you how to do it so there were some Sizzix items in there and they were from Stephanie Bernard, and I think I have her drop-in die. I'm not quite sure if I do. I hope I do, because I purchased this drop-in. You are awesome. And if I don't have that drop-in, then I'm going to have to return these to the store. So I'm going to sit this over to the side while I check. Um, These are just some of her uh, Brenda Walton's. Thinlet dies. I loved, love, love Brenda Walton. I still have a lot of her papers. I picked these up just so I could really bring them home to look at them to see if I wanted to keep them or not. A lot of these shapes I can cut out on my Cricut, my brother, um, my wishblade, you know. Mm, so, yeah like it don't know if I love it this I am debating about also I know these flamingos are all the rage it's a cute 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 fold out card but I I don't know I don't know that I'm in love with it <laughs> so we'll see but those were the um, Sizzix items that I found and also uh, some of the hero arts stamps so I'm gonna put these back in their appropriate file and continue on I adore these paper clips that you can get from Tuesday morning and some of these you can take them and also just tie little um, ribbons from them and they would make great journal placement holders and I am thinking that I might create these as bookmarks for my students I have 27 of them in here and give them to the well, give these to them for Valentine's Day. I have to put some red and pink and purple, some festive coloring, something on there to zhuzh it up a little bit. Ooh, hold that thought. Okay, I was in Dollar Tree and they had some of their Valentine things out and I got these. What if I took these stickers, like I did with the magnets, put some uh, black behind it, maybe put a ribbon or some twine or fishing wire or something in between, and then string that around the heart so you have your place mark, but you also have this that can hang out of the book. I don't know. We'll see. 
Let me think about how to best make that happen, but that's a thought that I had for that. Huh. Okay, moving on. Here are my next items. Now, here's what prompted me to pick these up. I have been getting these out of the Dollar Tree and then just recovering them. You can actually split it in half or in thirds if you want, and you can actually make two of these out of it. Because depending on how much you're writing, by the time you get halfway through, this is starting to look a bit scruffy. So even if you split it in half, that would work. So I've been using these in my DIY notepads. So I was in Tuesday morning and I have been seeing these forever and came across it and I was like, wow, these are really cute. Hmm. What can I do with these? So I went ahead and got these and I've, I've done one and I needed to have it out to share with you, but I've been taking these blocks and using them. They are just a tad bit more decorative than the ones that you can get from the... Let me get my cutting blade. Okay, this is just a little craft knife from Making Memories. And I just want to slit into here so I can get that out to share it. Sorry, I'm being a bit loud here. There we go. All right, so let's take this one out since that's the one that fell out. I can still, it's already glued across the top, so I don't have to worry about trying to glue it. But I can still take this, separate it, and make this into two notepads. And it's got that beautiful decorative edge around there. So this one probably was the most expensive one that I got that was $6. But if you look at splitting it, let's say if I made it like this, like this, and this. And that's three of those that I can get out of it. So doing the same with these, that's three, six, nine different things that I can make out of this that I um, got for $6. And it's got the decorative edge on it. I thought these were cute. I am going to play around with them because I've got tons of chipboard that I need to use up and turn these into little notepad holders. Okay, moving on. I am so sorry, I almost forgot these. Over the weekend, Tuesday morning had taken an extra 25% off of clearance, and I think the orange was 60% uh, off. Anyway, I think I got these for like $1.20, and they had some of the vinyl transfer tape. It's not the best tape, but it works. And they had some of this uh, faux metal, which I have used before. So I had to grab some of these up and bring them home. And I am going to go ahead and get these open and uh, used up because, as you know, vinyl has a short shelf life. And they have been in the store for a year now. So I do need to get those used up. Okay, I need to hurry this along because my sunlight is shifting on me. And these last bits are just some random items. These are from Quick Cuts, and I do have Quick Cuts dies. And these are some of the Easy Store die sheets. And I, I got them. We'll see how they work out. Because I'm thinking I could use these for some of my smaller dies that I get from AliExpress that are all over the place. And it's got a divider here so I can put some on one side and put some on the other side slide a sheet of paper in there make my own little binder to put them in and that might be the best way to store them because I am so so afraid of losing some of those because they are so small um, this momentous stamp of course I got that because I needed that to go with my Bo Bonnie stamp set that I got it's oh unbelievable I can stamp that background uh, run it through my mink I'm sorry, I can copy that background, run it through my mink, have the foiling there, and then stamp color, cut out some of these and put them on top. I think it's going to be cute. Oops, putting that on the wrong side. Come from over there. You're a keeper. These I got, I do make a lot of my own flowers, but sometimes I need to go really quick. 
I can take them, quickly color them, and it would be fine. Um, these are, again, my mind's eye brads. I wish they had doubles of them because that would just work out better for me. I guess if I wanted doubles, I'd have to buy two of them, and I didn't want to do that, but this is really cute. This I just had to get. I love Fran and Stampendous, and this little Papa, Mama, Grandpa, and Grandma Bear Loves You would be super darling for some kids' cards. This Thinking of You embossing folder, I, I just like it. I like the little um, raindrops or dots on there. Again, this is one that I could emboss and um hmm that would be cute with foiling i'd have to think of a way what i would probably do is like emboss it with black copy it and then run it through my make so that i can get some foiling on there i think that would be really cute these have been in tuesday morning before and I didn't get them because I was like, I don't need those. And I got them this time, and I'm still thinking, I don't need those. But they are the metal alphabet dies. And, uh, yeah, going over to that side. Now, this I thought was cute. It's a Firefly Stampy Stamp Cleaning Cloth. And I thought, yeah, it's like a chamois. And I'll try it. I thought the price was a little hot. But if it works, you know, it's worth it. These I got because when I make my little uh, swatches for all of my inks, I this is the perfect size to put them in. Now I got this and I, I am not going to keep it because somebody did a review on this American Crafts cutting mat and she said it was not sticky enough at all. So that is definitely going to be returned. And this is one of those sometimes you pick up things and you don't even know why you picked it up. And it's an oval medium punch. I don't even know how often I would use that. It's a like, but not necessarily a love. Also, in their floral department, they had these um, jumbo gems. And this was during a time when they had like 25% off of uh, floral. So I saved a dollar on this. They end up being $2.99, and that's quite a lot of those in there. Now, the last thing I got in there were these. And I want to do some canvas boards for Christmas next year. And I thought these, to light it up, would be super cute. Now, that is everything that I got at Tuesday morning. I do want to share a couple of things that I picked up from Michaels. And I was just in there last night, and they had 70% off. I didn't really need this, but I, you know, it's the farmhouse red truck thing. You can't get away from it. But then I found these stickers. So, those had to come home with me and then as if I don't have enough I picked up these uh, Christmas sayings and I love from our home to yours when I do my Christmas cards every year I always say from our heart to yours but I do like that also now before I turn you loose <laughs> I gotta come in and talk about this very quickly these are those makeup brushes that everybody's been going crazy about. And yes, I got some. And I think I've even done a video where I showed myself blending with them. But I was in Dollar Tree. And lo and behold, look what they had in there for a dollar. But they only had the one. I got mine from Amazon and got an incredibly super great deal on it. But I wanted to get this one because the handle is a little different always replace your covers on your blades and just comparing the two this is the one I got off Amazon this is the one from the Dollar Tree and they're calling it a contour brush let's take a look at them so you can see um, the loft on this one from the Dollar Tree is a lot higher than this one that I got from Amazon now I can see why this is a contour. Look at the rounding on it. And this one's actually pretty straightforward. The difference in the handles, this one does give a little when you're pressing on it. This one, not so much. But I think I actually like the firmness of that handle better than this one that's pressing down. Because I think it feels like that neck is going to snap. Now in Dollar Tree, they also had the real skinny one and I have no use for that but I did pick this up because I do want to play with it Ooh, listen and see how that works 
in comparison to the one I got from Amazon. And just looking at it sideways, I can see the huge difference in that. And also with the handle. So if you're near Dollar Tree, pick one up. If you're interested in seeing how they work before you make that huge investment into the entire thing. I want to thank you for riding with me in 2019 and I hope you've gotten your ticket and you're on board to continue this journey with me into 2020. I want to wish all of you a happy new year. Please stay safe. Please arrive home in one piece. Please look out for each other and to please, please be kind, thoughtful, and mindful of each other. As always, thank you for joining me in the Learning Lab. You can always hop over to my blog to find things that I don't always do a video on. I do promise to do better in 2020 by keeping it updated. Until then.